Hi guys, thanks for coming back. Um, I just wanted to let you know where I've been tonight. It is 11.30 at night and I am so excited about what I just went to go see that I had to let you guys know right away. I am not gonna finish the video or finish editing in the pictures and everything and make a full on vlog, but I had to let you know where I was at because it will only be here for a short amount of time and you have got to go see it. If you can get your hands on tickets to this show, especially if you have kids, even if you don't have kids, it was hilarious. There was not a single part in the entire show where I was like, okay, move on, let's get going. It was fantastic. The dancing was phenomenal. The cast was phenomenal. It, the parts were played perfectly. It was amazing, you have to go. So, where was I tonight? I was at the Muni. I was seeing The Little Mermaid. It's backwards, I think, but uh, you can see what it says. Um, this show, so, so, so good. It is only here until, oh no, I need to know the dates. I think it's the 29th. So today was the 21st and the 22nd is the last day. It is, it is the 29th is the very last day for this show. And it's got to be the best show of the summer. It is the best show that I've seen at the Muni so far. Um, they had these digital screens up that were kind of helping to mimic the ocean. Uh, Ariel was, you expect her to have a phenomenal voice, but it was fantastic. She had a great singing voice. The, she just sucked you in with her acting. It was amazing. Um, Ursula is out of this world. Do you think Ursula, the character from the movie, is just played perfectly? But the dancing and the choreography and how they made an octopus witch woman come to life on stage, fantastic. The actress who did that is absolutely amazing. Hang on, I have her name because she needs props. She was amazing. There was another guy that I will tell you about in a little bit who will blow your mind. Um, the whole cast, the whole cast was just so good. Okay, so Ariel is played by Emma. Oh, I don't, I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> Deggerstedt, and she was incredibly good. She's got a whole list of things that she's done in her lifetime. Very accomplished, um, but Ursula was played by Emily Skinner, and I, I, there's no words. Like, I want to see everything else that she's done to see what kind of acting she's done in all of her other Broadway shows. Um, she's fantastic. Uh, King Triton was played by Jerry Dixon. It was very good. Prince Eric was Jason Go Gote? Jason Gote. Also good. This Sebastian, James T. Lane hilarious I the Sebastian character was one of my favorites it was you have to see it you really really have to see it um, he just sucked you in his character his expression on his face I mean I think you could see it way in the back row it was fantastic we were really close up so we were kind of drawn in and sucked into it but I can't say it fantastic or amazing enough times this whole play was phenomenal um, scuttle by Jeffrey Schechter Schechter, please, if you're watching this, people who are in the Muni things, surely you don't have time to be watching my Nanny Gazette videos between all your choreography and singing lessons. But I'm sorry if I blotched your names. Um, anyway, Scuttle, amazing character. There's this whole tap sequence and it is so good. Um, there's new songs. There's the old songs that we love, Under the Sea. I mean, just, uh, you gotta kiss the girl. There's all these songs that we love from the old movie and they have a whole bunch of new songs and repertoire too. Uh, the orchestra, the pet orchestra was fantastic. Um, the star of the show, in my opinion, and I'm a nanny, so I'm drawn to little children, but this kid was first brought to my attention by my husband's Aunt Tina, and she showed us this video where he was promoting uh, Little Mermaid, and his name is Spencer Jones. And I thought just from the video, I was like, this kid's hilarious, he has character, he's just fun, he just knows how to enjoy himself and have a good time. And the same thing is true on stage. You can see this kid's heart. He had so many lines, he had so many facial expressions he had to do to get people involved in the show. And I, I just can't speak enough for him, his character, is draws you in it is non-stop he doesn't miss a beat throughout the entire show i think the only time i even saw him give a look and question like when is the end gonna come was at the bow and that was at 11 15 at night so the kid's gotta be tired i mean that's a long time for a kid to stay up and to have that much enthusiasm 
I, I don't know how he does it. It was amazing. Um, he has been in some other performances at the Muni and some other performances here in St. Louis. If you can find out where this kid is going next, Spencer Jones, check him out, stalk him. Don't really stalk him in a neat, mean, creepy way, but so much talent. He is gonna go so many places in his life and the way he plays around with the other cast members towards the end of the show, you can just tell that everybody really enjoys him and that he is a great kid to have around. So um, I don't really know how much more I have to say on it tonight. I absolutely loved it. Spend the money on it. If there's one show you're gonna see, go see this show. It, at Little Mermaid, the music, everything, the dancing, how they have the fish flying through the air. It's fantastic, just go see it. And thank you guys so much for checking me out. It's really late, so I'm gonna get ready for bed now. I am wearing clothes, it kind of looks like I'm not. Uh, I didn't even make it home. Um, <laughs> I it, it, The show ended at 11.15 and I just crashed at a friend's house because I didn't wanna drive all the way home and I have to be back at work super early in the morning. So I'm really hoping I can find some time tomorrow to give you a full review and let you know more exciting things that are coming to the Muni. But for tonight, I just wanted to leave you with this and let you know that you need to get your tickets right away. June 29th, that is the last day for this show and people know that this show is phenomenal and it is going to be sold out every single night. I know there are free tickets to some of the Muni shows, maybe all of the Muni shows. I don't really know how that works. I haven't had time to look into it yet. Um, my nails are hideous, do you see that? I <laughs> ran out the door today and I started chipping them off because they were already peeling and I thought that I could possibly chip them off before we got to the Muni, but it was no go, couldn't do it. Um, but anyway, there are free tickets. I've heard you have to get there super early and stand in line all day and people bring picnic baskets and chairs and hang out. And I've also heard it gets kind of gruesome. Um, maybe not gruesome, but competitive. So it might be an adults only kind of thing that you wanna do. Um, but I haven't really done it, so I haven't checked it out. I have no idea where the seats would be. I don't know anything on that, but you could look more of it up on the Muni website and check out Little Mermaid. And if it ever comes to town, and if you are not from St. Louis, find the show. You may not get Spencer Jones in your show, but find the show because The Little Mermaid is amazing. The choreography, everything, It, I cannot, I'm like on a high from it. We have seen so many shows at the Muni, and I'm from Branson, so I know theaters and shows and, I love music and theater and I grew up dancing and doing music, but nothing has surprised me and impressed me more than The Little Mermaid. And I love the Muni because it's outdoor theater. And even though it's 100 degrees during the day, you get to the Muni, the sun goes down, the big fans are blowing and ice cream is there. So uh, the show just sucks you in and you don't feel hot or anything. It's great, it's a wonderful breeze going through. So uh, good night, everybody. Um, check us out at nannygazette.com. I almost, kind of, sort of have a web page going up there. Um, the mobile version works a whole lot better than the regular, but I'm still working and working and working on it. I have got a lot of work to do. Um, but right now I have to sleep. So bye guys. Thanks for checking us out. And I hope to bring you more blogs and vlogs in the future. Bye.